Hi guys, I'm Woodcroft Hamster and I thought I'd do another quick episode today on carving our little guy from a branch. Now we made some good progress last time and essentially we went from this to something that looks vaguely person-like. Um, and what I think I'm gonna do today is focus on the legs and the arms, refining them down, or certainly refining the legs down, um, setting in the arms a little bit. We may even finish them today um, and we'll just see where we get to. So I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, so here is our figure and you may remember from the last episode we put in a couple of little stop cuts. There's one here down the front by the feet and there's another one round here at the back leading up to the little chap's bottom. Um, and the way I'm going to do this today is I'm going to be carving from the base up to the bottom here and using that stop cut as my guide where to stop and I'm going to be carving from what will essentially be the chap's belt down to what's going to become the feet. Um, now this is all pretty simple stuff, you know, the stop cut is there as the name suggests to stop your knife. Um, you do need to be a little bit careful, don't try doing big power cuts because you'll hit that and you'll carve off something that you don't want to, either the top of the feet or the, the tail of the jacket. Um, so I'm just going to spend a few minutes doing this. Um, I'll speed through this footage and we'll come back when we're a bit closer. So there we go guys, hopefully that is starting to make sense. Obviously we've got quite a protruding stomach area here and you can either leave that as it is and have someone a little bit on the tubby side or you can slim it down a little bit later on. And again at the back here so you can see and this will be tidied up a bit later, rounded off a little bit to be a bit more accurate. Um, now down here hopefully you can see I've been doing kind of a, a sweeping almost curved cut up here. So you're going to have the back of the shoes down here um, and again I can slim this down later on if I choose to or you can have that kind of slightly more defined shoe. Um, really depends what you're going for. I often try and do these as a bit of a caricature, um, you know, so exaggerated features. I tend to find they work best um, and if you're like me and you're not particularly artistic it gives you a lot of license to get away with things. Um, now you can see here on the sides just about I've marked out some arms and what I'm going to do I'm going to move the camera around to a different angle and I'll show you how it is I'll, I part these in. So I'm now going to move over to my Ben Orford engraving knife you may have seen this uh, a couple of episodes ago I did a quick review it's a really nice knife I and mean, it's really good for this kind of detail carving work. Now these arms that I've marked out have a crook in them personally I just prefer them you know they're a little bit more natural looking you can do them straight if you don't want to mess around too much and what we're trying to achieve is a very similar kind of wedge shaped cut to what we've done around the head um, and the reason for that is that it sort of will help define the arms um, especially in the crook of the elbow here you, you do need to sort of remove a reasonable amount of material to make them look realistic um, and there are two ways you can do it you can either lay your piece down and you can kind of put the point in and just kind of press down let me see if I can get this on camera for you you can kind of press down like this and like this and then you can turn it around again and come at it from the other angle. So let's see, something along the lines of this. And you'll see there, it just kind of pops out. You are, you are limited a little bit by the way the, um, the angle you can get your knife in, but essentially, you know, what I've just done, if I just break these pieces off, come on out you come. So you're getting this kind of wedge shape that we've seen before. The other way to do this is by doing a cut. Um, and what I will do, because this is a nice small bladed knife, I will come in at, again, roughly a 45 degree angle to my line and just put the tip of the knife in, run it down the line, move over. And I'm mindful you know, you're not picking much of this up on camera at the moment. 
but you will run it, let's see if I can get this down here for you, run it down the line like so, and then you'll come from the other side, and this is the big benefit of this knife, because it's so small, I can just get my finger on the top of the, um, on the back of the blade there, get that set in, and just run it down my lines. Now this second method is the untidier of the two. It's perfectly possible for you to tidy this up afterwards and for some people it will work better, um, others won't prefer it, but essentially you get left with something like this. So we've kind of defined the arms, now what we need to do is almost excavate this area around the back and certainly this area around here by the crook of the elbow. Um, and the more material you can remove away from there, you need to be really careful at this stage so you don't mess it up, but the more material that you can remove, where are we, there we go, yeah, the more of this you can get away, the more defined those arms will look. Um, now there is a temptation here to start trying to gouge it out. Um, I mean you can do it and I, I have got a little gouge that would work for this. Um, but you know it's so easy to make a mistake on this stage. Um, so I tend to try and avoid it. Um, and really all I'm going to do is just spend a few minutes here just refining these down. I'll do both of them so that you've got a good view of what I'm doing. Um, and I'll speed through this footage. So hopefully you can see there guys, um, you know, the arms are now set in, you know, they have a bit of definition, um, you know, you can spend as much or as little time as you like on this, but really for me, this is the most fiddly part of this carve, um, it's the most difficult to get right, we will refine this down as we start to shape the body later as well, um, so it will improve, but really you just need to make sure that within the crook of the elbow and on the outside of the arm, you've carved away a nice amount of material just to make sure that the arms are nice and defined. Right then guys, that is it for another episode. I'll give you a quick close up of where we've got to today. We've now got the legs front and back. Um, and I've also, since um, since cutting, I've also put a little line, little wedge down the bottom at the front there and a slightly untidier one, unfortunately, down the back. Um, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by showing you how to do that on the camera. Um, you know, it's pretty simple. You just do another wedge as we've done for most of the other parts. Um, we've also got the arms in. They are nice and defined um, or about as defined as I'm willing to take them without losing too much material. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Um, so I think what we'll do, next episode we'll come back, we'll start taking a little bit of a look at the face. Um, I think we'll look at the face. Um, you know, it's relatively simple. And now that we've got to this stage, we can start putting those little details, little embellishments in. Um, and hopefully we'll start seeing how this little guy is going to take shape and um, maybe even what his final look is going to be. Um, so as I say, that's it for today. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.